Hi guys, so on Wednesday, just after PMQs, Lord Frost, the Brexit Minister, and Brandon Lewis, the Northern Ireland Secretary of State, delivered speeches where they claimed that the Northern Ireland Protocol is no longer working and needs to be changed. They were in a thinly veiled way suggesting that it needed to be renegotiated. They want the elimination of oversight by some European agencies and rulings from the European Court of Justice to come to an end. Well, the European Commission Vice President responded to this. The Protocol on Ireland, Northern Ireland, is the joint solution that the EU found with Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Lord David Frost and was ratified by the UK Parliament to address the unique challenges that Brexit and the type of Brexit chosen by the British government posed for the island of Ireland. Yes, Boris Johnson wanted a type of Brexit that would keep Great Britain out of the single market. He knew, or at least some people around him knew, that if it included Northern Ireland, it would require a hard border on the island of Ireland. So the compromise was to put a border in the Irish Sea. Now, some people disagree with me on the next point, but I've said it before, there was no requirement under Brexit for Great Britain or Northern Ireland or even the UK to be outside the single market in the customs union, or either of them. Brexiteers themselves sent mixed messages before and after the vote, but there was nothing on the ballot paper about the single market or the customs union. So it was not a requirement of Brexit. It was something decided after the vote. He goes on. Its aim is to protect the Good Friday or Belfast Agreement in all its parts, maintain peace and stability in Northern Ireland, avoid a hard border on the island of Ireland while preserving the integrity of the EU single market. In order for these objectives to be achieved, the protocol must be implemented. Respecting international legal obligations is of paramount importance. Yes, the British government and the EU signed up to this international agreement. Isn't it interesting that the EU have never had a problem with the Northern Ireland Protocol? Then he says, The EU has sought flexibility, practical solutions to overcome the difficulties citizens in Northern Ireland are experiencing regarding the implementation of the Protocol. For example, on the 30th of June, the Commission tabled a package of measures to address certain pressing issues, including changing our own rules to ensure that the long-term supply of medicines from Great Britain to Northern Ireland. These solutions were brought about with the core purpose of benefiting the people in Northern Ireland. This is something that's almost never reported in the UK media. The EU have been flexible when it comes to rules for the single market. They have said since the beginning if medicines need to get into Northern Ireland, they will not block them. We take note of the statement made by Lord Frost today. We will continue to engage with the UK, also on the suggestions made today, we are ready to continue to seek creative solutions within the framework of the protocol in the interest of all communities in Northern Ireland. However, we will not agree to a renegotiation of the protocol. There we have it, the consistent argument that everything must be done within the framework of the protocol, but also that the renegotiation is a non-starter. The Northern Ireland Protocol is here to stay. Joint action in the joint bodies established by the withdrawal agreement will be of paramount importance over the coming months. We must prioritise stability and predictability in Northern Ireland. I look forward to speaking to Lord Frost soon. So the door is always open for talks, but not if they are about undermining the Northern Ireland Protocol or attempting to have it renegotiated. The language used by the EU is always neutral in tone. It is never aggressive when it comes to dealing with the UK, even though it has to be said that some of the language coming from members of Boris Johnson's government and party is borderline toxic towards the European Union. So the statement is short and sweet. There will be no renegotiation. The protocol must be implemented. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?